Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy Jay, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit late here on my end. I just got home from work, and I uh, just got word that our boy Yellow Wolf uh, dropped a track that could be a response to Royce the Five Nine. Uh, could it be a diss? Who knows? Could it be just Yellow Wolf pulling a, an Eminem Yellow Brick Road where he just gives us his side of the story or his side of the situation that's going on between him and Royce? Maybe it's a combination of both. Who really knows? So once again, guys, it's Yellow Wolf to whom it may concern. Without further ado, I don't know if I like to hear hit go, but um, I mean, we got to give our man here uh, a chance to say his piece. So uh, without further ado, like to hear hit go. little uh, introduction here uh, pretty self-explanatory um, he's not sure if he's told enough uh, told us enough about himself or maybe he told us too much so no leave any stone unturned or no questions about who I am all right so yep this is gonna be uh, him letting us in as to who he is as a person so let's go ahead and give this man a fair shake shall we what I represent Raised by wolves, church steeples in a single white mother. Taught to be blind to any color by hippies who've been smoking weed since the 60s with dudes that has for bed covers. Rock and roll, country music, and cocaine. One hand on the Bible and the Ouija board in the other. The irony of the dollar so thick that a flower gets stuck in the thin air that dope smoke. Then it's getting in Michael Jackson. Practicing moonwalking with a broomstick in the kitchen. Popping it. I can relate to um, getting into Michael Jackson because, um, I mean, just like him. So far from what I'm hearing, he grew up with various types of music, um, as did I. You know, growing up, um, my parents introduced me to, of course, you know, the old school, the oldies. You know what I'm saying? The old school R&B, rhythm and blues. Um, my father introduced me to uh, soul, you know, Tower of Power and um, some Latin soul, you know, like, like Tierra, Marlo, uh, War, and, uh, of course, Santana, who uh, is more of a mixture of rock and uh, Latin soul but uh, anyways you guys get the idea and um, <clears throat> my sister introduced me to R&B and the only pop singer that I was happy she introduced me to was Michael Jackson so yeah I, I definitely listened to some Michael Jackson growing up I have some Michael Jackson in my collection and um, like I said my father introduced me to funk so James Brown I got James Brown in my music collection as well that old school R&B you know Al Green Brent Wood, um, shoot, you name them. I, I, I got it all in my music collection. I mean, I have a very uh, eclectic taste in music. And uh, my brother uh, introduced me to some rap and hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was one of the ones that introduced me to uh, Tupac. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, growing up, man, I listened to various types of music. My brother-in-law introduced me to uh, heavy metal, hard rock. Uh, my father introduced me again to um, classic rock, so you know, and yeah, I got I got a little bit of everything in in my in my iPod, man. But anyway, let's get back into uh, Yellow Wolf's story here. Then like no BET, no television. We didn't have it. We had the rabbit, the tin foil, mixing jar on the counter for the bacon noodle. Now looking back, talking about freedom, yeah, you was born. Oblivious to the heat. 
hideous crimes from the insidious minds took the place right below us on the southern shore. The blood and the pain left the recoil. The creep wants home secrets. Ghost of Confederate veterans in the wind. Backwoods are haunted with the death in the sin. Slave ships carry the lost souls. With the white men slaughtering angels for a fucking barcode. We bear these wicked ways. The world is still turning. And these motherfuckers with their crosses is still burning. Yeah, I seen them at the courthouse. Not really sure what they're trying to prove still. Jumped over mountains, they still trying to move hills. And the dogs probably listen to Drew Hill. Pussy hotter than blue steel for Drew Hill. So Jesus gonna take the rear, no you steer drunk. The youth here punks, the truth here come. I show you how these country folks pop their trunk. Uh, and my honesty is modest. To tell the whole truth, yeah, I've pondered and I've pondered to be spit it and call the wigger from who you consider the father at 14 to make you wonder and you wonder. So it sounds like he uh, never really associated with the with the with the KKK, from what I'm hearing, and uh, he, uh, you know, was raised by uh, folks, or at least his mom was very heavy into religion. So obviously he's you know influenced by religion and everything. So uh, yeah, um, so far it's looking good for Yellow Wolf. Yeah, it's hard to hear me. But at that very moment, my picture got painted. Call it God, call it what you will, but I knew the South was sick still and in need of some changes, so I... His, his image got tainted. Yep, some, some truth there. There's no denying his image was, was tainted. Despite, again, him being separated, not associating with, with uh, people who hate others because of the color of their skin, and... Um, him going to church and stuff. Him being a, a, a good church going, church going man. Yeah, and being married to. Now I heard some people say his wife was half black. Some say she she's full blooded black. Either way, she's a very beautiful woman. I'm saying that with all due respect. I'm not trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, and supposedly uh, I heard his baby mama is is black, and he had children with the baby mama. So he's raising um, some biracial kids. So, Royce, it's it's looking real bad for you, bro. It really is. I took it upon myself to adopt by the outcast. I took the American and the Confederate flag. Threw it in my back pocket. I even went and got tats and carried them like a shield for the shit that won't tell me back. And these redneck brothers of mine playing their three six in a fucking cornfield and beat trucks with lip kits, oblivious to the beauty of juxtaposition. They can so he respects both the american flag and the the uh, rebel flag i don't want to say the other name in case you know youtube you know erases this video or whatever but um that's just something that that he grew up with it's part of his life uh doesn't necessarily mean that that he uh respects all aspects of that particular flag no it's just that's all he knew you know from when he grew up so. Had no idea how special it was to witness them in deep Alabama playing Snoop and group home. They're taking Metallica out of And then so he listened to a little bit of Outcast. He listened to some Snoop and Metallica. You know what I mean? Who all these people that I also have in my iPod Outcast, Snoop, and Metallica. Over the new zone and Catfish Billy. A way for me to talk about it. From then on, I was questioning how they got it by my peers who didn't understand that all these years we've been the front of the jokes. America made it clear that we were back. Behind and segregate. So I decided the yellow was going to make it more obvious that we've grown. I polished up my tone. I signed a shady and brought a record deal home. Look, mama, no hands. I'm coming up beyond prone. Respect for the old G's. Co signing my song. First it was Bun B, then Ray Corn and TIP. Then all of these MCs wanted features from me. But I was alive while my tone was a fucking blade. To these critics who didn't get it, the clips from the grenade in my teeth. A little too unique. Okay, acknowledging that he got signed by Shitty Records and was so home, oh, so home, so proud uh, that he took home a record deal to show, you know, his mother and of course his wife, you know, his family and everything. So, you know, there, there you go. And he, and he was proud. He was proud to be associated with uh, Shady Records. The market for me was smaller than some thought it would be, even me. So I looked in the mirror, saw the Jordans, the gold chain, my shirt, pants, terror, rip a flag in my pocket. Red tattooed on my neck, part of Dixie across the stomach in an eight click jet. Maybe I wore the wrong shoes back to the woods because these way number fives can't get wet. Gold chains were wore Jordans, you know what I mean, and still rocked the, the rebel flag and everything, you know what I mean. So, 
to him, it doesn't matter who you are. You know what I mean? He doesn't care about that. You know what I mean? It doesn't it doesn't matter to him. So, did I mention it was looking bad for Royce? Just want to make sure that's understood. Yeah. Maybe it's something I need to go figure out on my own. So after radio back, if I took my shit back home, disappear from the world, became increasingly different. Two in every once in a while to see who was spitting, but mainly I was in Nashville, getting back to my roots. Exploring music with love story, I made it my truth. Dropped a single called Till It's Gone and traveled the globe. I started seeing rebel flags everywhere in my shows. I didn't think nothing of it. I assumed that they get it. I'm on some new side shit, but I have to admit it. I saw the post up on Instagram proclaiming I'm racist, and then I walked in the head, and I don't know where my place is. I started taking it personal because I treat people equal, homie. Yeah. So, yeah, he saw the post on Instagram about him being racist, and he took it personal. I mean, as he should. Had it been me, I would take it personal too. And he said because he treats everybody equally, as do I. Got mixed kids and music is how I feel. Got mixed kids. Loving my heart as I'm singing as I discover this evil white boy went in the church and killed nine innocent people. God damn. Oh no, moment of silence. Nine innocent church going people get murdered. There's not a word I can utter. There's not a guys so it looks like that's pretty much it so um yeah there you go i mean as the man said himself he grew up you know listening to various types of music you know what i mean he was a, van a fan of various artists you know what i'm saying from michael jackson to metallica to uh various rappers you know like outcast snoop you know what i mean uh big crit he mentioned big crit on here so you know what i mean and he told his life story about you know his mixed kids and everything so uh there you go. I mean, you you can take it for what it's worth. You can take him at, at his word or not. I mean, that's really up to you. You know what I mean? From to me personally, honestly, 
I don't think he really needed to make this, but um, because like I said, I don't think he really needed to do a response. But um, I think this really drives home the point of who he is, and for him to to want to give insight as to who he is, as far as like how he came up, you know what I mean, what his life was like growing up and everything. I mean, it, it's definitely a good look on him, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it's 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 a dope piece of work, you know what I'm saying? Um, I will give it that, you know what I mean? Yellow Wolf, you know his his bars are solid, you know what I mean? And um, I think he said everything he needed to say in this one. Um, I would just leave it with this, you know what I mean? The beat is dope and everything. I, definitely a nice vibe beat to help drive that narrative. And um, yeah, uh, pretty dope track. Let me know if you guys. Um, agree with me? Do you think this this trap was cool? Do you think it's not? Um, do you, do you believe Yellow Wolf is racist? Do you um, see past the bullshit and think he's not? I mean, let me know all of that down below, guys. We will get back into um, looking at some more of Wildcard's album, The War. Um, I just want to get this out of the way, you know, while it's still fresh. You know what I mean? And I'll just share my thoughts with this. Um, but yeah, it's great. Um, I don't think it was necessary, but I'm I'm still glad that he made it, though, either way. Um, probably add this to, to the collection, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, Royce, you know where I stand with Royce, you know what I mean? I, I, it's, I think it's, it's all bad for Royce right now, and if I were Royce, I'd just quit while I'm ahead, you know what I mean? Just leave this shit alone now, guys. I mean, this whole thing needs to freaking stop. You know what I mean? It's kind of sad that Yellow Wolf had to go out there and really put himself out there. You know what I mean? Under these uh, circumstances. You know what I'm saying? kind of wish it would have been under better circumstances. But, you know, it is what it is. And what 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 can you do at the end of the day? You know what I mean? Yeah, this, this whole situation is sad, really. You know what I mean? And, um, Yeah. Pretty much all I gotta say about that, guys. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm out of it because I just got home from work. I probably should have just waited till after I got some sleep, but I really wanted to get this out of the way. I really want to get get my thoughts, uh, give my thoughts on this whole thing, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video because I feel like I'm just repeating myself, broken record. <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, um, y'all know y'all know the uh, drill right now. You know what this is, man. Feel free to like, comment. And of course, if you're new here, uh, hopefully you'll um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Would love to have you as part of the Jason JV family. And uh, yeah, until the next one, y'all take care. And this is your boy Jason JV, saying I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, peace.